Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew with a French press. So the French press brew method, really old, really popular. I've seen kind of a resurgence in the French press as more and more people are starting to make their own coffee at home. And I think that's a really great thing. French press is just so versatile. It's so easy to use. And hopefully the methods I share today don't make that too complicated. Um, I think the simplicity is one of the things that makes the French press so great. It has a huge margin for error to still taste good. I just want to be able to provide more consistency and an even better cup of coffee. So um, let's talk about some of the benefits of the French press. Um, it's a pretty self-contained brewing device. It is an immersion brewer, meaning our grounds are steeping with hot water for an extended period of time. This is pretty efficient. It's pretty low hassle. Uh, it's less dependent upon your technique than almost any other brewing method. Um, it is going to give us more body and texture in our finished cup. So any coffee you brew in here is going to have less flavor clarity. You're gonna perceive less acidity. You're going to get a richer, um, heavier texture out of it. So any coffee you get is going to act like that through the French press, just inherently. Some of the pitfalls of the French press, um, because of that heavy texture, we do lose a lot of that flavor perception. The metal mesh filter is going to let through a lot of grit. And so that heavy texture can drift into the gritty range because we have so much sediment in our finished cup as well, it has the ability to over extract as it just continues resting in your cup or decanter. Um, immersion methods are also less efficient at extracting our coffee. Traditionally, we have to grind really coarse in the French press. And these huge chunks of coffee are harder for our water to saturate and extract the sugars and flavors um, not only because they are of varying shapes and sizes, um, but predominantly because of that large size, it's hard to fully penetrate those grounds even in an extended period of time. So common complaints of the French press are that you lose sweetness due to the amount of body that you get and that the cup is gritty. And also that it takes so long to steep because we have to grind so coarse. The method I'm gonna to share today is what I call the one, two, three French press method. This is a approach to recipe building that should give you a really great cup of coffee in a faster period of time and hopefully mitigate some of these issues that we've historically had with the French press. Um, all right, let's get started. I've got a French press, just bought it at Target, really standard French press, um, lots of different sizes. Um, you can follow these rules with any size French press. It's going to be really straightforward. I still recommend a gram scale with timer for the French press. We're going to need a mug. Ideally, you should have a decanter that's going to fit at least 600 milliliters. You don't need a gooseneck kettle. You just need hot water. You can use a tea kettle. You can use a pot. You can use a measuring cup that you microwaved. Um, just some way to deliver hot water into your French press. Uh, so let's talk about this one, two, three method real quick. Uh, this is a way to delineate how many servings you're making. And I'm gonna define a serving by the dose of coffee you choose to use. So anything from zero to 19 grams of coffee is gonna be one serving. Anything from 20 to 29 is gonna be two servings, and anything from 30 and above is gonna be, well, three or more servings. Um, the one, two, three part comes in determining how many servings you're making and how many actions you're gonna take in this brewing process. Um, we're going to write this all, all out in the description, make it really easy for you to follow along. Today, I'm gonna to make a two serving French press. I'm using 28 grams of coffee, at a one to 16 ratio, this is gonna have me use 450 grams or milliliters of water. And the one, two, three delineates 
essentially minute increments after I've added all of my ingredients together. And this kind of sounds confusing. It's best just to follow along, walk through it. So let's make a French press. I'm going to separate my filter. I'm gonna add my French press. I'm gonna tear my scale. I'm gonna add all my coffee. So 28 grams of coffee times 16, which is my desired ratio, gives me 458 grams of water needed. I'm gonna just round that up to 450. So let's tear our scale again. Make sure our coffee is set. Um, we are also going to need a flat paddle or a spoon, something to let us push grounds, stir our French press around. Uh, this grind size is finer than traditional French press recipes. I ground this 28 grams on nine on the Malcuna GKS um, on the, uh, the traditional dial. This is going to be about 15 on your Bratza Encore, and this is going to be about three on your fellow Ode grinder. So finer than traditionally used for French press. This is my standard drip grind setting if I was making a batch brew or a drip coffee pot. So drip grind setting, it's everything is teared. I'm gonna pour all of my water now, 450 milliliters, as quickly as I can. So I start my timer and I'm just pouring this water. You don't have to swirl around, but I'm trying to saturate all of these grounds. And so I'm gonna pour. This is probably gonna take a while because I'm using a gooseneck kettle. So we're just filling it up. Up to 450 grams total for this recipe. And when I'm finished, I'm gonna stir to incorporate all of those dry grounds. So there we go, 450, take my stir stick, put around. So I'm at 30 seconds. That wasn't a ton of agitation. And I'm just gonna let this rest. So for all of our recipes, you will add your coffee, add all of your water, stir. Now at a minute and a half is when our next action comes. If I was doing one serving, at a minute, minute and a half, I would simply plunge and pour. Because I'm doing two servings at a minute and a half, I'm going to stir for a second time. What this is going to do is reincorporate any grounds that have formed a foam, move fresh, circulate this water, um, move heat, move agitation, create a more uh, uniform environment to push our extraction a little bit further when we have this ground coffee, it traditionally forms a sediment and we get different layers of concentration during that extraction period. So here at 30, a minute, 30 seconds, I've got this foam built at the top. I'm gonna break that apart, stir everything else. I don't need to spend too long. That was about 10 seconds and let it ride. So push all those grounds there at the bottom, moved water around, created a slurry agitated everything. And so, because this is my two serving, at two and a half minutes, I'm going to plunge and pour everything into my decanter. If I was doing three servings, then at two and a half minutes, I would stir again, and then plunge at three and a half minutes. So, two and a half minutes coming up now. If we grind too fine, you're gonna get a ton of grit, a ton of foam when you form this up. It's gonna be muddy. If we grind too coarse, your cup is going to be watery. It's gonna be weak, it's gonna be sour. 230, plunge. Now, what pouring into a decanter is gonna do is help us reduce the amount of grit that gets into our cup. And it's gonna help us stop extracting at this stage. If I just poured one cup, and let it rest in here with these grounds, it's gonna keep extracting. My cup is going to get more and more bitter as time goes along. But by pouring everything out, um, and by pouring multiple times, you're gonna push grit through that metal filter. So pouring everything out all at once is gonna help you reduce grit, reduce bitterness as your cup continues to cool. Um, yeah, one, two, three French press. If I'm using one serving, I'm gonna put my coffee in, pour all my water, stir, and then plunge it a minute and a half. Two servings like we just did. I'm going to put all my coffee in, pour all my water, stir. 
stir again at a minute and a half, plunge at two and a half. For three servings and further, same thing. All my coffee, all my water, stir. Stir at a minute and a half, stir at two and a half, plunge at three and a half minutes. So this is how you can determine what sizes you want to serve. We have a very rich texture. Um, we're still gonna get nice acidity. We're gonna get much more sweetness and clear flavors with this method than we do with coarser grind settings because of the inconsistency of coarser grinds. Wow, really aromatic. I love a good French press coffee. Serve and enjoy.